What's up, folks? So, as some of you may know, as I said for the past, like, two weeks, uh, we are moving. So we are leaving the trailer park, and uh, we're moving into a, a house. Pretty exciting for me, maybe not for you, but I figure we would vlog the entire experience, or at least most of it. So today is... Uh, so today's only Tuesday, so we're not moving until Friday, but I figure I would show you guys around the trailer, since you guys probably never fully seen it, and you can see what a mess it is right now, because uh, we're packing everything. And then we're going to go outside, got to do a few things outside, got to take my ring cameras down, got to take a fence down, not really a, like a real fence, but like a trailer park fence and just you know some random shit we got to do so i figure i would bring you guys along for the ride because maybe you're bored maybe you have nothing better to do in your life but to watch me do pointless shit so here we go so everything is pretty much we're about 80 percent boxed up here there's still a lot more stuff to go excuse the mess we don't live like this but uh it looks like a disaster in here but everything is pretty much wrapped and packed. The only thing that's left is pretty much the stuff that we're using. Like, got my drugs. Those are what keep me sane. And of course, we didn't package the dog up, though I wish we would. I've been sleeping on the floor for the past week because we got the bed up there. And uh, yeah, this, my favorite lamp. It's with me all year. I know, weird, right? And then Marcus's room, which is pretty much all packed up, except for that and that. And then this son of a bitch room, which is packed up. All the wires are at least packed on this side of the room. All my guitars cased up. And the, you know, the headquarters right here this is not being shut down until thursday so everything still remains here just because i got a show to do on tuesday and i still got some videos to edit so this is still you know this is still in full effect and this is going to be the pain in the ass just because there are so many wires if you guys would see all the wires that are under this desk i'm surprised uh I haven't had a electrical fire yet, but this is gonna suck. This is really gonna suck. Luckily, I'm not doing the moving. We hired people to do that. Uh, I wouldn't say they're actually movers, but just some random people that have a truck. Hopefully they don't steal our shit. So come Friday, it'll be a little bit more exciting because we'll get into the new house. And then Saturday, the actual move is taking place. But on Friday is when we're gonna move all our sensitive expensive kind of stuff like the guitars amplifiers computers just because i don't think i trust a a bunch of random dudes with a truck to move that stuff no offense but uh yeah yeah i'm still vaping by the way in case you're wondering all right so pretty much what i need to do that today is i need to remove the ring cameras luckily I didn't pack all my screwdrivers and then just do a walk around of stuff that we're going to take which most of this is staying out here staying here with the house except for the this plaque that someone made me I forgot who made that but uh subscriber to the channel made that a long time ago still got it by the way these are fake rocks and then just doing the walk around the window air conditioners are staying because we are we have central air folks central air i've never had a house well at least one that i had my name in that had central air this fence right here that I did a very <laughs> half-assed job in putting up, I need to take that down. We're just going to use a sledgehammer on that. Now, this is the tree that me and Marcus planted, I don't know, 
four, five years ago, maybe. Maybe even longer. Shed that was built. Yeah, nice, huh? Gonna miss the shed, gonna miss the deck. The deck is probably gonna be the biggest thing I miss. And yes, there is a bike lock on my ladder. If you don't lock it up, they will steal that shit. For starters, we're gonna grab the ladder and take down these cameras. Let's do it. Shall we do do do? She do be do. I remember I had a ladder once and I left it out behind my shed. Someone stole it, son of a bitch, within like a week of having it. They probably wonder, well, who the hell would steal a ladder? Well, when you live in a trailer park, they will steal anything that isn't locked up. This is probably the one and only time you guys will see me on a ladder. Da -da -da -da. I hope I can get these out because, oh, I need that special screwdriver to get the goddamn camera off. Oh, shit. I use pretty tiny screws to put these on. But in order to get the camera off the, the mount, ring cameras come with a special screwdriver. I think it's like a torque bit or something. And without that, you can't get the goddamn cameras off. Oh, unless I can get it down, that's all I care about. Because these cameras are not included with the purchase of the house because they cost too much goddamn money. Come on, it's only take me an hour to get one camera down. Get the fuck out of there. I'll rip the goddamn gutter off if I have to. Thank you. Whew. All right. One camera down, two to go. So now this other camera that I have, which I put it in a real stupid location, it's actually right there. The reason why it's a dumb location, because anyone can just walk up and just rip the camera down. So I know that was pretty stupid of me putting it out there, but yeah, we gotta take this one down. If you guys can only see the way that I rigged this up, <laughs> because I cracked the the mount and I put the mount on backwards because that, <laughs> that was the only way to do it so yeah it's pretty horrible I know the funny thing about this porch that I'm standing on right now is that it's being held up with a single piece of two by four no actually that's not even two by four that's a one by four I think and that's because I tried moving this and I was pulling it and dragging it and I ended up snapping the legs on the actual porch itself and the whole thing just, it collapsed. So rather than fixing it correctly, I took this piece of one by four and just screwed it up to kind of hold it in place. So all this weight riding on this one board right there. Now, I did buy wood to fix it before I moved out, but I think I'll leave that for the new owners to, to fix. And you're probably wondering, Mark, why don't you use your cordless screwdriver instead of a hand screwdriver? And that's a good question, because it's I packed it up already. Oh, this is all in there crooked and it's stripped. Jesus. Don't ever have me install ring cameras at your house. Look at the size screws that I use on this goddamn thing. These are like fucking three inch deck screws. That's pretty crazy. Oh, there's camera number two. So I was pulling this thing and I was dragging the whole porch this way until this leg right here and that leg over there just snapped off completely. You can kind of see the separation and it just nosedived. So that board right there is what is holding that entire thing up in place. We got one more camera. 
this is the camera that I love the most because it allows me to spy on all the neighbors. My favorite camera. And if you're wondering why I'm walking funny, that's because my back right now is in so much pain. Oh. Oh my God, my back hurts. I'm not a manual guy at all. I'm more of an automatic guy. So this camera might be a bitch because I've got all four screws in it and I don't have the, the screwdriver to remove the actual mount. So this is gonna suck. But thankfully, it's only screwed into vinyl siding, not into wood. At the same time, I have to remember to grab the screws and don't let them fall on the ground. Because Angela always gets flat tires in this driveway and I think it's because of me just leaving random screws and nails on the ground look at the size of this fucking screw it's still fucking going this screw is so long that I think it's actually sticking through into the house no it ain't that long and on top of my back hurting after I use a screwdriver for longer than two minutes, my hand starts to cramp up and I can't turn it anymore. Dude, I'm a fucking disaster right now. You know, I should start a channel and call it Fat Guy Home Improvements. Dude, my hand is like cramped up. Jesus Christ. Uh, almost, almost, almost. Almost, almost, come on. time to eat yet. Is it lunchtime? I hate. I hate using screwdrivers. Oh. Dude, I think I'm done for the day. I think that's it. I've been on here for what, 10 minutes? I think I'm done. Fat guy on a yellow ladder. All right. Whew. I feel like I just worked an eight hour shift at a construction site, but all I did was remove three ring cameras that were screwed into vinyl siding. Hmm. My life is sad. All right. Now we gotta somehow take this fence down, which is gonna be easy because I'm gonna use a sledgehammer. I'm not gonna use a screwdriver to try to unscrew that thing. Screw that. I would burn it down, but the house might catch fire, so. I think we're gonna use the sledgehammer. Ugh. 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 Hey, with my underwear right up my leg. Ooh. Oh, I feel like a... Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, that didn't work out. I wanted to look cool when I was carrying the ladder, but I guess not. Gotta make sure I lock this bitch back up so no one steals it. God damn. Life is so complicated. There you go, folks. Uh, then we're gonna take lunch again. It's only been 20 minutes. And then we'll work on the, uh, holy God, I'm sweating. We're gonna work on the fence. All right, my second lunch is complete. Just a little tip for you fat guys out there. If you're doing some, uh, you know, really hard labor, pick up some of these. They're like healthy candy bars. They make you feel like you're doing something good for your body, but technically you're not, but they fill you up. And also, I'm a big fan of the Triple X vitamin water, no channel's not sponsored by them though I wish it was you know when you see something that says water and vitamins you automatically assume that this is good and healthy for your body and I was pretty excited that I finally found something that I really liked that was good for you until I find out that it has as much sugar as a can of soda so 
I might as well just drink a can of Coke. But one good thing about the house move, yes, I'm still sweating. Um, we plan on doing like an entire life change. So we're gonna cut out all the shitty foods that we eat, hopefully all the sugars. We're gonna stop eating out and uh, we figure the perfect time to do this is when we're gonna make this big leap, you know, like this big transition to moving into a house. What better time to do like a change like that than I guess right then and there. So hopefully it works or who knows, maybe I'll be uh, 400, 500 pounds come this time next year. I guess we'll find out. So now that my break is over, oh, we gotta go out and battle the fence. So I'll show you guys the shed. Shed was actually hand built by who you ask? That's a good question. Um, so, I met a guy off Craigslist. Yes, I know what you're thinking. You meet guys off Craigslist all the time. This time was different. I met him for a specific purpose. I wanted him to build a shed and I was gonna be like his little helper. He agreed to it, very affordable. Lo and behold, this was built. And I will say it's not really a bad shed. It's a bit odd. Like there's certain things that are really strange about it. For instance, we have a regular door with a padlock. The reason for the padlock, this trailer park, people love breaking into uh, sheds. So if I would have had a regular doorknob lock, this thing would have been broken into by now. Having that, a little bit slower to break into it. So I'm going in here to get the sledgehammer that hopefully I didn't pack it up. I don't think I did. I don't think I packed anything in here. And this is also the location where when we finally move, we might find a bunch of bulks that we forgot about, hopefully. Now, this is not like Todd's shed. I know Todd's shed is pretty awesome. This is more like a trailer park shed, but with electricity. Yes, I rigged it up for electricity. That's a good thing. And uh, the toolbox is just there just to make me look like I do stuff, but never once used a toolbox. I don't think there's even, even tools in it. And uh, yeah, all this stuff you can see, brand new, never even touched it. I like buying tools to make me look like I actually work around the house. What we do have, oh, where's the sledgehammer? Do you guys see a sledgehammer? I don't think, ah, oh, there it is. All right, I got a feeling this is not gonna go well. Now you, you would think the guys that I pay $20 a week to would cut these, uh, these things down. Holy shit, look how thick that goddamn weed is. Wow, it's like a tree. Holy shit, I should have cut weeds out here sooner than later. Anyways, um, I think it's screwed to the shed. That's not gonna slow us down though. Oh shit. I should probably hit the fence. There better not be a fucking beehive over here. I got a feeling this ain't gonna work. This is pretty in the ground. Huh, I guess my trailer park fence was pretty, uh, pretty nifty after all. All right, well here's the two by four that it's screwed to. So let's try to do this. Oh, that didn't do much. Um, that just caused a lot of attention with the neighbors. Ugh. Ugh. We got movement. We got fucking movement. Oh, Jesus. Is it lunchtime yet? Maybe I'll just leave the fence here and let them take it down because this is way too much work. So when I put this fence in, I took two two by fours, pound them about two feet into the ground, and then I screwed this fence to the two by fours. Am I bleeding? No. But uh, I mean, you could probably if you got someone who's willing to put a little muscle into it, you can get that out pretty easily. But I don't know, I just want to leave it there. You know, let them 
Yeah. I, I planted this tree. Did I tell you guys that? I planted the tree. That was a lot of work. Well, at least I got one thing done here. I found out where the sledgehammer was. I was always curious. When you bought the sledgehammer, Mark, where'd you put it at? That's where it was. So on moving day, all this shit needs to come out. A lot of the heavier stuff. So yeah, I'm not too sure how that's gonna work. Not looking forward to that either. But um I had high hopes for this video. Like vlog, moving vlog, day one. Check out all the cool things that you know we gotta do before we get ready to move and I gotta do some manual labor and take down some cameras and do a fence removal and oh god that didn't work out as planned Whew. anybody out there want to make a few bucks come and pull that fence out like five bucks maybe in a, a free mod i don't know maybe this did turn out to be a pretty successful vlog i mean if anything i showed you guys how to remove ring cameras it does take a, a special technique to remove those. You gotta be pretty good with a screwdriver and have a good back to stand on that ladder. Um, I wish I could show you more, but I don't think there's anything left to show you guys for today anyways. Tomorrow's gonna be a new day. We'll have new things that we gotta get done before the move on Friday and Saturday. You know what's really gonna suck? Moving that motherfucker right there. Luckily, I ain't gotta move it. I'm breaking a sweat just looking at the goddamn thing. I am gonna miss my deck. I'm gonna miss the gazebo. Even though I never came out here and really did anything, just the looks, you know, look cool. The grill, I think I barbecued once on it. It looks good in the background. So things like that I'll miss. Oh, I do gotta go through this forgot to see what is uh what's staying and what's going what the hell we got a guitar amplifier an air pump towels you the fuck usps boxes wow we got any e-liquid in here oh, i don't want to go through all this oh that's too much work fuck that they could have the whole box I think it's lunchtime, folks. After a hard day being on a job, working in that heat, you just want to come home to your nicely air conditioned home and just relax with a nice, I don't know, corned beef sandwich. I feel like I earned my, my spot this evening or this afternoon by showing you guys what it takes to get ready for a move. It's not easy and very labor intense. We gotta be very physical. But uh, I think I'll have another cliff bar. I usually eat three of these for breakfast and then two for lunch. But I think we're good. Oh, I got my mod right here. Forgot to bring the pod system outside. Funny thing is, I wasn't outside long enough to even need a vape. Oh, my, my ass hurts. My knees hurt. My back is sore. I'm sweating. I think I cut my leg. My hand is cramping up from holding the camera. Holy Jesus, what the... God damn. All right, we're done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna have new challenges and new experiences to look forward to, so buckle up. It's gonna be a fun ride. What do we got? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It might be a five or seven day vlog. Can't wait till you guys check out the new house. I'm really excited about that. But uh, I'm done. I'm out. Whew. Hope you guys enjoyed it because I know I sure in the hell didn't. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.